Hello, I'm Ari, and today I have, so I have another unboxing for you. This is that watercolor box again. The Let's Make Art watercolor box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm kind of excited about this month because remember the January sketch box had black paper? Well, this one does too. And I was really frustrated with the black paper and trying to figure out how to use it to make the art stand out, you know, how to use it effectively. And I really struggled with that black paper. So why on earth would I order a subscription box that gives me black paper again? Because I really want to learn how to use the black paper. Let's Make Art is an uh, art subscription box. They have three different boxes now. This is the Let's Make Art watercolor box. They have Let's Make Art hand lettering box and a Let's Make Art journal art journal box. I still have the art journal box from February that I haven't unboxed yet. I was really busy with February and got a little bit behind. I also was going to add February's watercolor box pictures with this video, but I think I'll put them in a coffee hour instead now that I'm finished with those. As a subscription box is $35 free shipping. If you just want to buy one box and try it out, it is $45. So I suggest they have a very easy process to suspend the next month's box. If you just want to subscribe and try out one box, I will also include a link below that will give me a few points as well as give you a discount on the box. So if you're interested, look for that link below and let's get started. All right, spoiler alert, you're good at this. Welcome to March. So this is the March watercolor box. This month we have a swan, a sunrise, bubbles, and florals for the four weeks. We do a new project every week. Each product comes with step-by-step -step instructions as well as two sheets of paper, a reference photo, and an outline if applicable. You also get graphite paper and we've also included a Let's Make Art postcard for you to send some love. Paint something of your own or join us in a mini tutorial at the end of the month. So for each project we release a tutorial, youtube.com Let's Make Art. So even if you subscribe or don't, you can go on their YouTube channel and find the tutorials for these lessons. Last month, it was really hard to keep up with the weekly. I'm finding that I usually have time to create only when I get the box, but February was really busy with the February challenge. So I'm hoping to see if I can balance that out better when I don't have a lot of other things going on. And hopefully then next month I can include this month's pictures with the April box. Because so far I plan to stick with this. I really like watercolors. I'm not sure if I really like the, the guided lessons. I guess I'm so used to just creating art on my own that I thought I would like a lesson plan each each week. So I'll have to kind of get back to you on that next month. But I still like the projects and having something that I can sit down and there's, I know what I'm going to do. So like this month, I know I'm going to make a swan. I know I'm going to make bubbles. That That's helpful for me. So, all right, we get the good stuff. It's paint. So let's see what's inside this month's paint box. Oh, and we have six half pans of high quality watercolor. Ooh, I love it. So remember last month, if you didn't see that video, you may want to go back and watch it just so you know what your what different supplies come in each box. Last month I didn't know. I thought maybe we only got the liquid watercolor, 
But now this month we got a metal tin, so a nice travel size watercolor box with their logo sticker on it. And inside, sorry for the glare, we have we have six metallic watercolors to play with this month. So I'm really excited. It's it's black paper for some of the challenges, but metallic watercolor, which I haven't used a lot of, but if you saw my video on my scrawler box this month, I don't like glitter, but I like, I love sparkle and shine. I'm not a big metallic fan, but metallic watercolors, I think can add something to your watercolor. So I'm really excited. That's one thing about this box is each month before the box comes out, you get to see what's inside. It's a mystery until about mid-month. So like mid-March to the end of March, all of a sudden you'll start seeing April's box. And so you get to see ahead of time what's going to be in that box, which if you like a surprise, that's not so good. But if you like to find out what's inside and decide if you want to order or not order, then that's really a nice feature. Um, when I saw this box, I definitely wanted to order it. I looked at the art journal box. Like I said, I got the February box, but I saw the journaling for March and I had just purchased a large pack of the Daniel Smith dots. So I really wasn't um, excited about getting an art journal box that had just a few of them. If you watch my art journal video for Let's Make Art, which hopefully will be up in the next few days, you'll also get my opinions on the art box. So I will leave that for that box. We have the Let's Make Arts Art Matter. And inside is a person that we're sending some love to. This month it's Deborah in South Carolina. So Deborah's family has been through the ringer over the last year. Multiple family members have passed away and she's been through a lot helping the family members and dealing with that grief. And so I'm familiar with that. I've lost a lot of people in the last few years in my family. And so I know grief is real and the struggle to keep up with everything around those deaths. So this is one thing I really like about the Let's Make Art box is these postcards to send out to people. Um, it's really sweet and really wonderful because a little bit of encouragement really can help in hard times. So our first project is the Metallic Swan. And there's a few of these left in their store. So each kit comes in a nice cellophane type bag and you get the watercolor tutorial, you get the inspirational art, and you get two sheets of watercolor paper. In this case, it's black. This is week two this month, metallic sunrise, and the tutorial for that. I'm sorry, the glare is really bad on these. This month we don't have any outlines because they're all kind of easy projects. So bubbles is another. So if you always wanted to learn to make bubbles with the paint, this may be a good box for you. Metallic floral is the last project this month. Metallic florals, metallic bubbles, metallic sunrise, and our metallic swan. So now that we have came in the box out of the way, let's quickly test out our, our watercolors for this month. Just so you can see what they're like. Of course, the white on this paper probably isn't going to show up very well. The paint really, um, goes on nicely. This one's kind of a green with a silver. 
our pink and our purple. So our purplish kind of color kind of has an iridescent, our pink, a light kind of metallic green, um, a darker sparkle, a gold metallic, I guess, and then the white. Let me see if I have a piece of black watercolor paper that Test the supplies on. So that's that light green here. So here's those same colors on the black. So the white and then the gold and the dark green, the light green, the pink and the purple. So look how different the purple looks on the white background versus the black background. Then I'll just show you these. I'm really excited about this month's box. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So here it is on the white paper. Then back to the black paper, just So the purple on here looks more blue, on here it looks more purple. The pink looks pink both places, the light green looks silver or white on here. The green looks about the same, the gold is about the same, and of course the white stands out much nicer on the black paper. So that's what is in the March watercolor box. So this is the March 2020 Let's Make Art art subscription box. We have the metallics this month and we have the black paper. And as I said, I really want to understand how to best use the black paper. And when I saw it was in this month's box, I decided to keep my subscription going. I still have to post the February watercolor projects. I will get to that hopefully this week and get those up for you. I'll put those in a coffee hour. And then these I will do when I do the April watercolor box unboxing or just look for them in the coffee hour with Ari area. So notification button and subscribe if you want to see how those projects turned out. If you remember we had the narwhal, we had the hard hands, we had the lighthouse, and we had the shells. I did the shells with my Let's Make Art unboxing last month. This month I'm going to save those for a separate video and just 
I'm giving you the unboxing. So if you like what you see, you still have an opportunity to pick this box up. I'll have a link below to the Let's Make Art page. So I just, for the leap year sale, I think it's today only. All kits are 20% off and extra art boxes are $10 off. So if you can, if you see this video yet tonight, maybe you want to jump on. As I said, they have the Monet in the bank, which earn points when you complete activities like creating your own account, etc. And that's really nice. You can redeem your points for rewards. And so if you click on my link to this page, if you decide to subscribe, I get a few points and you get a discount on your subscription box. So here's this month's watercolor box. It's $45 for a single box, or if you subscribe, you save 22% and the box is only $35. And that's a better deal because you can always suspend the next month's box if you're if you're not liking what's included. Again, this box allows you to see what's coming next month early enough that you can make a choice as to whether you want to suspend that box or get that box. And I love that's a really nice feature about this box, unless you like surprises and then that's kind of defeating. Again, the supplies included, nice pictures. So this month's projects are down here. Right now you can't click on them. The tutorial releases March 4th. Um, This one releases March 11th, March 18th, and March 25th. So that's probably my only downfall to this box is how long it takes for the videos to come out. Even though it's nice to have a project a week, I found that when I had some downtime and it wasn't time for the next February project, that it was a little bit frustrating. I could use the tutorial sheets that come along. So, they do give a tutorial sheet with each project like this. However, when you click on these, you'll be taken to a video. Let's see, let's go to, here's February's watercolor box. So you can, it's $35 now in store, so you can add that. And these are the projects I finished for February that I'll be posting to my coffee hour with Ari. Okay, so I found that that's something new I found out. So when it, when the prompts come up, you only can access it from this the box page at that time. Otherwise, you're going to have to go. So here's the Narwhal project. But if I scroll down, here's the YouTube tutorial that if you just go to their Let's Make Art page on YouTube, you can see this tutorial and make this art with whatever supplies you you have on hand. If you have watercolor supplies at home, you can definitely use those and still make the art and practice in each month or each week when a new video comes out. So here you can click get outline and it costs $0 to get the outline. It's in PDF form. It's totally free. No payment information is required. Simply add to cart and check out to get your one free page PDF. So you can watch the tutorial and get the outline. And it gives you an idea of what colors were used for the project. So if you just want to buy the supplies, you can also do that. So in this example, 
here's here's their rabbit water tutorial and in this in some of the newer ones you have to download a PDF through the order system on their site some of the older ones like this bunny the type or there's a lion etc download outline is here so paint along watch tutorial and again another full tutorial on YouTube to paint this money. So as I said, the newer ones, you just have to enter it like you were shopping for it and, it'll, and you'll still get the free download. You don't have to enter any information. So just to show you, here's the March lettering subscription box. So they have those and same cost, $35 to subscribe, $45 for a single box. Again, easy. Suspend a box for a month. You're given enough notice as to when those boxes or what the next box will have included. And last but not least is the art journaling box. This is the supplies in the March art journaling subscription box. Here's those Daniel Smith watercolor that I was telling you about. Get a small sheet of about I think it was 18 colors or 16, something like that. You get their little journal. So again, same same price no matter which subscription box you choose. The same price, $35 with a subscribe and save or $45 for the single box. Or if you wait long enough and they still have the box, you may be able to get for $35. But the February journal or February journaling subscription box sold out, but I will be showing you that in the next few days. So I hope, and, and these have the same, usually three to four projects, and you'll see videos for that and outlines, etc. So what I think this box does that's really great is if, you, if you're unsure of what to paint or what to do, or you just want to get better at a range of subjects. That's kind of the reason I'm subscribing is I usually watercolor kind of the same things. And I thought this box would kind of break me out of my comfort zone and get me painting things like bubbles and sunsets and swans and rabbits. So in that way, I think it's really great. I love watercolors. So right now this box is working for me really well. I like the idea of different projects just to try things that are outside my comfort zone. I've tried several different art subscription boxes that are different mediums and I get frustrated when it's oils or acrylics or some odd marker that I don't like using. So I thought, well, instead of changing up the medium or material I'm using, what if I just switch up the projects and find a box that offers the subject matter is changing, but I'm still always using watercolors, which I love. And lo and behold, one of my subscribers mentioned to me that they knew of this Let's Make Art box, which I had never heard of, and I subscribed. So if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comments below and I will try to get to those and answer them. As I said, I will leave my little Monet in the Bank um, link to the Let's Create website. You win, I win. We both get a little bonus for signing up and anybody can do that. It's not just me specifically. When you subscribe, you can recommend it to other people and you can get those little reward points for somebody using your code. So find that in the link below. And if this video is up in time and you see it yet tonight, try to get in there for the leap year sale. All right, I'm Ari. This is Shamelessly Creative. And so let's make art art box, art subscription for March of 2020. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a creative day. Bye.